Today we're going to talk about diets, what science says about them, why they don't work for most people, and what you should do instead. Let's do it. We've all been there. We look in the mirror, we don't like what we see, we decide today's the day. No more candy, no more snacks, no more fat, fast food. I'm on a diet. We go from eating junk food 24-7 to eating lettuce and boiled water all day long. The problem with these dramatic changes is they're just not sustainable long term. We might stick with it for a couple days, maybe a couple weeks if we're really, really gung-ho, but sooner or later our willpower just runs out and we slip back into what we are doing before. That's how we yo-yo on and off diets, losing weight and putting it back on. It's like running around in circles. So if you're not happy with your results, the solution is probably not to go work harder and put more pressure on yourself. What you need is a small tweak in your food mindset. Forget about all that intensity and just focus on consistency. Small gradual changes that you can stick with for the long haul. Forget the miracle diets and the promises of quick easy results. Forget all the shortcuts and all the tricks. If you hear any of those words, run. Instead, you want to focus on moving forward one step at a time steadily. A 2017 study found that people who lose weight slowly but steadily go on to lose more weight than those who yo-yo up and down, even if the yo-yos include big drops. So don't stress out over that one weekend where you had too much. If your diet is consistent overall, one slip, not a big deal. And don't focus your energy dieting for the short term, right before the summer to look good in the bathing suit or to fit in the dress for the one specific party. If these diets feel like a huge sacrifice and every meal is a torture, you're working too hard. In fact, just forget about diets. Forget they even exist. They're just not a good long-term strategy. What you want is to find a healthy routine that works for you and that you can actually live with because it's about consistency in the end. Whether it's reducing unhealthy foods by 50% or having a meatless day once or twice a week or just deciding to start your day with a healthy breakfast. A modest but realistic change that you stick with is a better strategy than cutting everything for a week only to rebound after. Once that small change becomes the new normal, then you can go one step further. 10% improvement today, another 10 next month. Before you know it, you'll be at 80 or 90%. Remember, consistency always beats intensity. Your health is a marathon, not a sprint. So pace yourself and focus on the long haul. Did I mention consistency? Every step up that ladder of small improvements helps you adapt both physically and psychologically to your new healthier habits. And that builds your self-esteem gradually and makes the next steps easier and more natural. Okay, good, we got it. Oh, forgot to mention consistency. It's about consistency. What's that word? Consistency. It's consistency. Consistency. Consistency.